Hi everybody, Bob Gager from Adobe here with another episode of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions posed by our Facebook fans. Today's question comes from Graham, and Graham wants to know, what's the best way to remove a reflection in a window? Well, Graham, let's see what we can do. Thanks for sending in your photo. It really helps to be able to work with the same image that you're working with so I can know the challenges that you're faced with. And this is a pretty tough one, uh, but let's see what we can do. So the way we're going to try and get rid of this reflection uh, in your window is by copying other areas of your picture and pasting them on top to cover it up. So we want to start with maybe this one here. Let's zoom in a little bit, sort of show you the area that I'm going to be working on. Uh, let's get rid of this little portion first because that's kind of simple. Um, I'm going to use my rectangular selection tool. Just going to click on that. And then come over here to select some of this area of the window where there's no reflection. And then I want to do a copy and paste. And what that does is paste in a new layer with that pixel information. So you see if I hide my background layer, I've just got this little bit of the window copied into a brand new layer. So let's show my background layer again. Again, I can show and hide a layer by clicking on this little eyeball icon. Click it to make it hide. Click it again to make it show. So with this layer selected, layer 1, that's what we just pasted, I want to use my Move tool, select that, and then just move that down to cover up the hat something like that. Now there's a little bit of edge going on here. I can fix that up with my eraser uh, to try and make things a little smoother. So I just grab my eraser tool right over here and just do some light erasing so that there's not a sharp edge. And when there's not a sharp edge it's kind of hard to know uh, exactly where the two go together. There you go. So we've fixed part of it. Let's double click on the hand so we can see our whole window again. So there's that bit. Um, let's uh, take the next section. So this middle section, this is a little harder because we don't have as much information to copy from. There's just this little bit at the top of the window uh, that we can use. But let's give it a try. So again, grab our rectangular marquee tool, uh, drag over this section of our window, edit, copy, and then edit, paste. Again, I've created another layer, now called layer 2, that has a copy of those pixels in it. So back to my move tool, and I can move this around. I want to drag it down a little bit, kind of to the top of her hat, and then grab this and stretch it the rest of the way down. Now that's not going to be perfect, but I think it's kind of the best we can do. We want to maybe stretch the top a little bit some more, and just like before, uh, let's use our eraser tool to clean that edge up a little bit so it's not uh, quite so stark. Um, we also, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on here. Uh, looks like I also moved it to the right just a touch. You can see there's a discontinuity there. So I can just select it and hit my left arrow key and it'll move it over a pixel or so. Um, so I can get it so you can't really tell. All right, so we've dealt with that center section. Now it's not great. I'm sure that's not what the window really looks like uh, without somebody standing in the way, but that's kind of the best we're going to be able to do, I'm afraid. Um, so let's reuse this layer, layer 2, to fill in this bottom panel here. Uh, so I just want to make a duplicate of that layer. I can select the layer, uh, drag it, up to my new layer icon. So I just click and I drag and drop it right there. And that's going to create a copy of layer 2. Then back to my move tool. I'm going to move it straight down like that and then shrink it a little bit so it fits in that window pane and click the green check mark to accept. So we've gotten rid of the reflection uh, in this whole center section. Um, by copy and paste and stretching just that little bit that was right here. Again, not perfect, but that's probably about the best we can do. So same thing uh, would be done to these other panels. Uh, as an example, we can select layer one. That was that first one we did. Drag and drop it on our new layer icon to create a copy. Uh, move it down and stretch it 
to cover up the whole window pane green check mark to accept it and we're good to go so here's where we started and by creating a couple new layers with copies of other sections of our window uh, here's where we ended up so that's one technique uh, to sort of get rid of a reflection in a window the other technique would be maybe to put something completely different uh, in the window so I'm going to select all these layers that we just created and drag them to the layer trash can to just delete them back to the original and instead of pasting stuff on top of the window what I want to do is cut a hole through the window and I do that with a layer mask first thing I want to do is turn this layer in this background layer into a normal layer so I just double click it and then click OK and now what I can do is add a layer mask that's this icon right here I just click that icon and a layer mask is created that's this white rectangle to the right of your image on the layer and the way a layer mask works is everywhere there's white uh, that layer is showing and everywhere that I paint with black on the layer mask that layer is hidden so if I want to cut out one of these window panes I just click on my layer mask I get a brush I make sure my foreground color is set to black set my brush size appropriately so I would do that in my tool options and I can make it small or big I can also use my keyboard shortcuts the right bracket key makes my brush bigger the left bracket key makes it smaller this is a keyboard shortcut I use all the time instead of coming into the tool options and adjust the size that way so I make my brush however big I need and I just paint black right I have my brush selected I have black and I'm painting on the layer mask not my photo so I can basically cut a hole right through my image by painting on the layer mask now I'm not really deleting my image I'm just hiding part of it by masking it out with a layer mask and if I hold my shift key down I can click around the corners and it will draw a straight line from wherever I was before I can paint out the middle a bit and cut that hole so let's do that window pane uh, then I'm going to click over here hold my shift key down click again while still holding my shift key down just click all four corners and you can see I can get a nice uh, clear cut hole around the edge and then go clean up the middle like that alright and I want to do that to all six window panes so I'm going to speed the video up here a little bit so you don't have to watch me do all this hopefully you get the idea um, and let's just get it done now over on this pane I don't really want to do it all because this white bit here is actually something looks like is in front of the window I don't know if you want that or not I'm gonna leave it if you don't want it of course you could paint over that in the layer mask and then this white bit would disappear as well totally up to you what you want to keep what you don't want to keep certainly these flowers I think we probably want to keep those so I'm gonna not paint over the flowers they're kind of a nice foreground treatment I'm gonna paint around them and then finish this one up and then finally get those top three as well okay so now we've cut a hole through our window basically by removing all the panes of glass where your reflection was and now we want to have some fun with it and we can do that by dropping in different backgrounds so down here on the bottom right if I switch to my graphics panel uh, make sure the first pull down is by type and the second pull down is by backgrounds and I've got a whole bunch of graph backgrounds that I can pick from and adding them behind my window is as simple as dragging and dropping and elements will automatically move that in uh, paste it as a background let me switch back to the layers panel so you can see it's created a new background underneath uh, our window layer that we've cut holes through so everywhere we cut a hole this background image is now showing through our window as if it was on the other side and it's easy to experiment with lots of different stuff if I want to try maybe that background uh, I can do something like that or maybe something dark I don't know whatever look you're after there's lots of different backgrounds here you can play around with until you find something that you like um, or maybe if you want it to look like you're actually looking outside at something you can drag this background in 
this one we happen to now see where I actually didn't quite do good painting on my mask. So I'm going to switch back to my layers panel, select my layers mask, get my brush again with black, and just kind of fix some of this stuff up. Again, I'm not painting on my image, I'm painting on that mask with black to hide that part of the image. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. There we go, and a little more right here. So that's a way I can make it look like something completely different is outside my window. Uh, I can even put one of my own photos in there. So if I uh, open up my photo bin, uh, and if I scroll down to, let's see, uh, an album that I know I have some interesting photos in, something maybe like America's Cup, and uh, here's a photo I took in San Francisco, in the San Francisco Bay. If I drag and drop that, it will add that image as a new layer in my photo. Uh, it put it on the top. I don't actually want it on the top, right, because it's covering up my window. I want to drag that down so it's underneath and it's showing through the window. Grab my Move tool and resize that image that's underneath so that it's completely filling my window panels and now it looks like I'm looking out my window uh, at the San Francisco Bay. So there you go. That's how we would remove a reflection from a window, either by copying and pasting other bits of the window so that uh, it looks like it did originally, or cutting a hole through the window such that we can paste a different background or a different image uh, on the other side of the window. Hope that helps, Graham, and uh, thanks for asking. Take care.